This answer is powered by AskQuesty.com. Get help with your Squarespace questions or tasks on demand. Today I'll be answering the question of how you can use cPanel with your Squarespace site. Um, so how cPanel works is that it kind of offers like different options for your domain and hosting and so on. And those options aren't going to be available in Squarespace They're because the back end of your site, like here, where you have all these options, this would be considered your control panel. So it doesn't really work with the standard C panel that you would have on your hosting program. Um, so let's say you have your hosting set up with a company and you also have your Squarespace site and you kind of want to maintain the two, have your Squarespace site and all the other settings that comes with your cPanel, like your email and so forth, you can actually have the two work together where you keep all of your cPanel settings exactly as they are, but you point your domain name over to your Squarespace site. So email, um, all of that remains the same on your hosting. And when someone types your domain name into the browser, they'll get taken to your site and your site will kind of work as it usually does, but just the hosting will be at Squarespace. So to get that done, what you're gonna do is to go into the settings of your site and then go to domains over here. And you're gonna choose the option that says use a domain I own and you're gonna enter the domain name. So I'm gonna use just a generic myspecialdomain.com and click the continue button. Now, the next thing you're gonna do is click connect from provider. And this allows you to connect your um, domain name with your domain name provider, whoever has the cPanel set up. So if you click the drop down button, there's these different um, domain name providers. And they'll, these this persons in this list or companies in this list also provide cPanel. So if yours is in this list, your cPanel um, host is in here, then you can click on it. If it isn't, just use the other button and click connect domain. And just click the OK button on this pop up. No. Here we have our DNS settings. So when you go over to your cPanel site, um, you can type in at the top DNS and you'll get a page that has settings that look a lot like these. You'll see a list that has like the name, um, four A's, and then your A records. And what you're going to do is to change the values from whatever you have as your A records to the items listed here under required data. So some of these you'll have and some of these you won't. So like, for instance, this is a very unique um, host name. So you're gonna add this. You're gonna add the host name as this. So you're gonna select the name as the record type. And as the value, you're, you're just gonna copy and paste this into it, verify.squarespace.com. You probably have a triple W um, item. And if you do, just change the value to this. If not, if you don't have this, then you just add and just put in this value. And you're going to do that for each of these items, even coming down here, you're going to make this change as well. Just enter these items as your required data. Anything that says mail, like mail.yourdomainname.com, you're going to leave those so your email continues to work just fine. And once you've entered all of that data, you're gonna click the test connection button. And from there, they'll let you know that your domain name has connected. And once you type it into the browser, 
Make it some time to propagate. Once you type it into the browser, it'll take you directly to your Squarespace site. Was this helpful? Ask a Squarespace question now. AskQuesty.com.